Previously on Resurrection. What exactly happened this morning? We were all asleep in our beds. The next minute, we were standing in front of the bar in Arcadia. Mass returns have typically been accompanied by a trigger. You saying there's another on the way? Yes, a big one. Agent Bellamy seems to think you can offer our guests here some comfort. Yeah, God willing. Poison them all. That child has gestated in death. It must not be born. It's Rachel, she's inside. What's wrong? Well, Savivri, I can feel it. It's hurting me. The preacher. You brought up your mom. Talked about how she disappeared, Barbara. You think he's trying to do the same thing to Rachel? Yeah, I think so. I have a mission, Robert. To prevent the end of the world. I know where the mother is. She's coming along. Maggie doesn't seem worried. Yeah, let's hope it stays that way. Do you hear any more from Marty? Not yet. Oh. I'm sure he'll be back soon. Kids. Are you feeling all right? You don't have a fever. It's my head. It just hurts. Mm. I'll get you something. Why didn't you tell her? ask you the same thing. This is my room. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I've come with a message from Preacher James. The preacher? Well, what is it? How would you like to be with Tom again? Killing a baby? Now you saw the cicadas in our vision. If that child brings millions more of us back, this world can't survive that. So I'm gonna leave you here. <laughs> this preacher's gonna keep making these things feel like they've got a God-given right to be here. Which is why we can't let off the gas. Tom was one thing. But rumor has it, this guy can actually bring them back himself. If I see him doing that, I'm giving him a one-way ticket home.
know you think I'm your enemy. Maybe I am. But I believe tonight we have a common goal. Rachel, the door's locked. Can you open it? Rachel? Rachel, are you okay? Let's roll. Dad, Dad, something's wrong. Rachel's locked in. She's not responding. Wait here, wait here. Stand up. You stand up! We were only talking. You have no business being here. Rachel, you okay? Rachel, Rachel. Okay, breathe. Breathe, Rachel, you're fine. What did you say to her? Tell me. What the hell is she doing here? She broke in. Grandma? Jacob, Jacob, tell them. Tell them about that baby. Tell them. You don't get to talk to him. That woman and her child are hurting you your son. You do something Jacob, like this. Jacob, tell them. You're daring him. Obviously, he doesn't agree with you. Jacob, please, you must tell them that baby is bad. What's she doing here? It's okay. Rachel's fine. We gotta go. The preacher's coming with a bunch of return. We gotta move Rachel. Where? Party. Go stay with Jacob. Jenny, it's gonna be okay. Get that woman out of this house. They're all making a terrible oh, mistake. Enough. Let's go. Marty! trying to prevent. Get back in the house. You chose your side. Henry! What are you doing? I told you I'd take care of it. Clearly you did not. What are the hell doing here? Because of me. It's all my fault. Margaret. No, there wasn't enough time. You're going to have to do it. Well, then tell me how. Robert! I don't mean anyone in that house any harm. I'm a man of peace. But don't force my hand! Give up the girl and we can all go home! Robert! This is Sheriff Langston. Any deputies available? Call my government contact. There must be a hundred of them out there. At least. Hello? Anyone? Pick up, pick up. Angela, come on, pick up. Call the station. I'll check out back. Arcadia Sheriff Station. Yeah, they... Who is this? This is Joey. Joey? Joey Nolan? How did Listen, you... Listen, Sheriff. Preacher paid me a visit at Twain's tonight. Told me about the girl you got at Henry's. Was it whatever he said to you? No, 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 no. I told you before. They're not natural, Sheriff. We don't need any more coming our way. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't hold my breath waiting on any deputies to get to Henry's house. They're otherwise occupied at the moment. Joey! You have a good night, Sheriff. Son of a bitch! They'll clear our back. What's going on? No one's coming to help us. What? What do you mean? 
Run on. Is the preacher here? What did my grandmother tell you? <laughs> okay. You need to focus on having this baby, all right? Everything is going to be fine. Nothing is fine. How do you expect me to feel safe if you keep lying to me? You're right. It's not fine. There are about a hundred returns standing outside, and they're not here to spread yeah. goodwill. No, no, no. What? What are they doing here? Oh, God, is it about my baby? Listen to me, Rachel. This child will be born. Okay, and I'm the one who's going to make sure that that happens. Look at me. You just have to stay strong. What do you think they plan to do? How far are they going to go with this? Preacher James thinks that Rachel's baby is some kind of demon. He knows he can't kill her, so he wants to disappear Rachel before the baby's born. I'm going to go out there. I'll talk to him. Get a lay of the land. Fred, go. I'll go. I don't think this guy's messing around, Henry. Which is why I should go. He brought me back. We share a connection. Preacher. Henry. Preacher, you gave me a second chance at life. But now you want to hurt Rachel and her child. I don't understand that. You have no idea what will happen if that devil is born. Right. But false prophets shall arise and produce great works and wonders so as to lead astray and deceive. It's been a long time since Bible school, Preacher. Well, that trance that brought you and all of us into town, that child in there is behind that. So I hear. Mm -hmm. So what happens if that occurs again? Only this time the child turns you against your fellow man. Or maybe even your wife. But why are you so convinced of all this? Yesterday was just the beginning. This has all been foretold. Foretold? To who? To you? Who are you to say what's good or bad, or who should live or die? That's not your call to make. You must believe what you see right in front of you, Henry. The child is hurting Jacob. He told me so. He's an eight-year-old boy. You must understand that even though... No, he... Ma, you must understand. You no longer make decisions for this family. Your mother's right. I think of Jacob. You prepared to lose him again? I'm not going to sacrifice somebody else's child for my own. That is a noble sentiment. But I don't believe you. You prey on people's weaknesses. Get them to do what you want. Did your God teach you to do that? Henry, what do you say? I think Ma truly believes that Rachel's baby's hurting Jacob. Hurting him? Moose, this guy's pulling everyone's strings. I'm going to check on him. What's on your mind? That child. It's never known anything but death. It's not like us. It's not like anybody. Are you saying we should just hand Rachel over? Henry, people weren't willing to give us a chance. How can we assume the worst of the child? Still, we don't know what's really going on. Nobody does. What if he's right? What if that baby being born is the beginning of the end? Henry. Are you a devil? Is Jacob? Is Marty? 
Don't give in to fear like I did. He wants us to hand Rachel over. Otherwise, they're gonna charge in and take her. How long do we have? Ten minutes. Then they're coming in. Jenny, could you step out, please? Thanks, sweetheart. Is your head still hurting? You can tell me. I don't mean for this to happen. I told Grandma I don't feel good now. Now she's here. What's making you not feel good? Does this have something to do with Rachel? And her baby? I hurt when a baby hurts. But I don't want Rachel to get in trouble because of it. <clears throat> oh, sweetheart. You want to go out there with Jacob? You're not listening to me. He said it's the baby who's making him feel sick. Well, even if that's true, it doesn't... They're going to storm this house. Jacob and Jenny should not be here. They're not going to harm us. It's Rachel they want. We can't take that chance. I've thought of every way this could play out. Every option and every one of the men's badly. We need to protect these children. The shield's going to leave with the kids. Fred, I, I think you should go, too. Not with Maggie here. You sure? I am. You should go now. My job to tell you that even though you're all grown up, I'm still your big sister. him to get Rachel. Get away! Jacob, you won't have to worry about that child anymore. Jacob. I didn't want this. I didn't mean for Rachel to get hurt. you're doing. And so were my brothers and sisters who didn't have the courage to stay. We're not going to give up without a fight. And neither will we. thinking the better. What if it's Ma that comes through that door? Like I said, the less thinking the better. Let's check the windows, barricade the back door. You have everything you need? Yes. I want you to go into Rachel's room. I don't want you to come out no matter what's happening. Hey, but what if I hear something horrible? Just what be if... there for Rachel. All you need to think about is her. What are you going to do? I'll be thinking about you.
promise you'll be careful. I will. I promise. Go, go. What happened? You all right? Yeah. If anyone comes through that door, shoot them. Breathe, breathe in. <sighs> They've been given a chance. They're not going to hand her over. What are we going to do? All right, man. Let's go. Let's go. Stay together. Go, go, go. Hey, left, stay together. They're moving towards us. They're coming around this side, too. I'll cover the back. I'll stay together. Move over on the left side of the house. Fred, I don't know if I can shoot somebody. And just try to remember, they'll come back. Okay, stay with it. You're doing great, okay? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Keep going. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Breathe. It's okay. Keep going. No. No, you stay away from her. Stay back. Leave her alone. No! There was no need for any of this. You created this situation. Time up. gathered outside you wanted yesterday, Rachel. It's never going to end. What did I do to deserve this? You returned. We all did. I never want to be accepted. So this is the cause for coming back. Uh, it's pain. <laughs> do you remember where you were before you came back, Rachel? <laughs> dreams we all have a place where we belong this world this life you really want to bring a child into that when your time here as a return has been defined by pain that's all there is here maybe not there 
mais c'est un temps. Mark said that you saw Donald. Is that true? Is he, is he waiting for me? Yes, he is. I saw him with my own eyes. If you go to him, all your suffering will end now. <laughs> oh, it's coming soon. <laughs> Take that out of your mind. All that distress. All that horror, everything, let it go. Tom is there waiting for you to join him. I'm scared. What about my baby? You'll all be there together. In a place that knows no pain. Only love. Now, why would you want to keep your child from that? Why would you want to keep Nathaniel from his daddy? How do you know his name? Give me the gun. You've done enough already. Wait outside. I told the preacher how to make Rachel and her baby disappear. I was only thinking of Jacob. Go, 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 before it's too late. This is for the best. So get away from me. No, no, you stay away from me. He's lying. Whatever he said to you, it's a lie. No, he... no, Tom is waiting for me. He's waiting for both Listen of us. Listen to me. He's only telling you what you want to hear. I try to protect you. That's why I kept this from you. He thinks that your son is evil. Well, I'll be honest with you, Rachel. That child is only going to bring suffering into this world. But he's my child. No, he is not. And I've been sent by God to stop him. No, no. Rachel, there's no God that would ask that of anyone. Uh, now he believes in God. What I believe is no child is born evil. Your child is no different. I'll get him out of here and bring him Maggie, okay? He's perfect. happening everywhere. Returned. All over the world. As we told you an hour ago, reports continue to pour in from all over the globe of the impossible. That people are apparently returning from the dead. All of you out there will know more as soon as we do. The president is expected to make a statement within the hour, and hopefully he will be able to shed light on what has left the world in a state of the world. The world's changed a lot since you've been gone. You're probably more than a little confused, huh? Don't worry. That's normal for anyone who's recently returned. I looked through your file, saw that you have a grandson in St. Louis. 
Good news. I contacted him and he's hoping to have you staying with him. Bad news. Not everyone is as accepting as your grandson. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You may experience threats, discrimination, but if you do, you can contact me immediately. The Bureau is here to help. I got it. How about this? Marty and Megan and Elaine are coming over for dinner tonight. How about you tag along? And be a third wheel? Actually, it would be a fourth wheel, but who's counting? <clears throat> Come on, who's making pork chops? You know, it kind of sounds like an afterthought. Okay. Hey, by the way, you hear about that new bill in Congress about the return? That's a joke. The Senate will kill it. It's progress. Says the man who still has all his rights. I mean, answer me this. What kind of sense does it make that I should still be paying taxes even though I can't vote? What's that old saying? Death and taxes? But scratch the death bar. <laughs> what? How's she doing? She misses her son. Robert. So how's life in Suicide Watch? Uh, well, I must say he's pretty lifeless. How about you? How's the world outside? Still spinning? Hmm. Tell me about those riots in Philadelphia. That was an unfortunate incident. And those fires in Tokyo. The world's not perfect. It never was. Tolerance is not going to come overnight. No, it will not. Then they just make your skin crawl, Robert. This truth we share. This connection of ours, to deny that's to deny yourself. I'm not denying anything. Then you know, the end of times is still upon us. It's self-evident. So why don't you disappear yourself? Because I choose to remain until called upon to fight the evil that you brought into this world. So how is he? That innocent soul. It's good. He's a normal baby boy. <laughs> and even Satan shall disguise himself as an angel of light. Corinthians 11, 14. Religious studies. Hmm. It's a perk of the new job. Another perk is I have to learn how to tolerate everyone. Even the likes of you. I just came to say goodbye, preacher. Won't be visiting anymore. I blame myself, Robert. I never should have put my faith in a man who's ruled by doubt. It's whatever I want it to be. In that case, it's great. <laughs> What's up? I went to see the preacher again. Marty. Why? Sometimes it's just it's so tempting to see the world the way he does. Black and white, good and evil. Yeah, but you know there's no such thing. There's just people. And they're looking to you for help. <laughs> Maggie, how can I help the return when I don't even know why they're here? None of us know why we're here, but that doesn't stop us from living. And I want to live with you. Come on. Believe it or not, I actually made some of this dinner. No. Yeah. Marty! <laughs> What's up, buddy? Punctual as ever. I'm sorry. I had to make a stop along the way. Oh. 
You're forgiven. Well, it seems like ages since we've been here. We've just been working hard. Be careful. Say you're going to wake up and be an old friend. Yeah, exactly. There was a boy, a very strange, enchanting boy. They say he traveled very far, very far, over land and sea. A little shy and sad of eye, but very wise was he. And then one day, one magic day, he came my way. And as we spoke of many things, fools and kings, this he said to me, the greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. <laughs>